Welcome to Law TV. These are my top five Google Chrome extensions. So a lot of times we all surf the internet and we pray that we never get our sensitive and confidential information compromised. A lot of times we're surfing and sometimes we don't even think about whether our information can be compromised or not. And sometimes that information could be sensitive or highly confidential and you're just not thinking about it. So I use HTTPS everywhere to pretty much give me a better feeling of safety. So when I'm on the internet, I don't feel like, okay, my information will be, you know, eavesdropped or, uh, some of the information will be picked up or hacked. Uh, one of the good things about HTTPS everywhere is it, if the website supports HTTPS, then it will encrypt your data and information when you're on that website, whether or not that website is uh, completely secure or not. So if it supports HTTPS, HTTPS is kind of the backup to secure your website. So with that being said, get HTTPS. All you need to do is go to the Chrome extension store and you can download it and install it right away. It works right away, right out the box. Uh, I suggest going to the website and reading up a little bit more about the frequently asked questions and what HTTPS Everywhere is all about before going to any uh, very uh, malicious websites or doing any malicious surfing and possibly compromising some of your information and content. So get HTTPS everywhere. It's a backup. It's not the secure way of surfing the internet and you just don't have to worry about anything. You still have to maintain some awareness, uh, a high level of awareness still when you're on the internet and making sure that you don't go to any websites that may compromise your information. So my number four favorite extension is the Google Voice web extension. So if you haven't used Google Voice yet, then you haven't been paying attention to some of my earlier videos uh, and articles where I pretty much use Google Voice to turn a iPod touch into a phone. And I'm using Google Voice in tandem with applications like Voxox and Text Free. So when you put those together, you can create a free phone virtually. Uh, one of the drawbacks of that is that calling people is kind of tedious. You have to call through Google Voice and sometimes you have to get to that application where uh, Google Voice calls for you through that application. And that application usually receives free calls. So it's like you're calling that application and then that application calls whoever you're trying to call. And it's all free. You're not paying for anything. And Google Voice is 100% free. You get a free phone number. Uh, it's a legal phone number. It's not a phone number that will be weird or anything like that, like some 800 number or something like that. You can't get those. You can pay for an 800 number, I believe, but I use a regular 773 area code number and I'm from Chicago, so that's perfect for me. And it's a very easy to remember number that I, I chose as well. And I can use that one number for any other phone that I get in the future. So from now on, this number will always be my number. And if I choose to get any new number for a new phone, then I will be able to switch 
uh, the direction of when my calls come in, they go to the my primary number for Google Voice, and then that call is redirected to whatever phone that I'm using at the time. And right now, I recently purchased a iPhone 5. I actually pay a phone bill, but Google Voice was the reason for me being able to spend two years without paying a phone bill ever again. I, I never paid a phone bill for two years. All I did was use uh, iPod Touch, uh, emergency phone that just had uh, some free minutes on there and basically it, the, the phone renewed with free minutes every month and I would forward calls to that. I couldn't use up those free minutes so I would basically forward calls to that only if it was an emergency. And I would use the iPod Touch as my regular phone that I would talk on all the time because all my calls were free for that one. And it didn't have a certain amount of minutes that I would only use. I could spend hours on the phone if I wanted to. Uh, but the d drawback about that was that you would always have to make sure that you're in a good spot for a uh, Wi-Fi connection because if you're not in a good spot for a Wi-Fi connection, your call will be dropped, it'll go in and out, sometimes it'll be muffled, your voice will be muffled, sometimes you'll hear echo. Uh, that's one of the drawbacks of having that, but I was able to deal with that and still have decent conversations on the phone and still be able to have a phone without paying a bill for two years. So I recommend downloading or installing the Google Voice app. The, the Google Voice app only connects you to Google Voice, uh, or I'm sorry, the Google Voice extension only connects you to the Google Voice app. So pretty much the Google Voice extension is a way to uh, be notified whenever you have text messages, phone calls, or anything like that via your web browser, your Chrome web browser. And it will, uh, there will be a little ring that uh, goes off. It'll be a chime that goes off whenever you receive a text message or phone call. Uh, and then it'll show you that you have a message uh, in, your, in the icon that's on the Google Chrome browser. So if you really wanna be able to take advantage of the, the features that Google Voice has to offer, I suggest going to the Google Chrome Web Store and then downloading and installing the uh, Google Voice extension and also getting the Google Voice app. So I don't know if you've ever used a web browser and you had a bunch of tabs up on the web browser and somehow, some way you hit the X button right up in on the right hand corner and for Windows if it's it's the right hand corner for Mac it's the left hand and you exit out of that 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 browser and all your tabs are gone and you were you had a bunch of tabs up that were kind of important that you really wanted to make sure that you remembered the websites you remembered the links that you you know had tabs open for and it was some important information that you hadn't finished looking at. And you got all these tabs up. Sometimes it's a bunch of them, sometimes it's only a few, but it's hard to keep up with all of that information and you didn't really want to bookmark it all. So I think that when it comes to that, it's very important for me, especially as a web developer, you have to have some kind of way of maintaining the sessions that you use because sometimes you're not going to save everything in a book bookmark and you don't want to have to fill up your bookmark list you know for a bunch of uh, websites and links that you're not really gonna go to frequently it's just something that you were reading and you needed to digest the rest of that information you just wanted to come back to it but you lost all of that so what i recommend is session buddy Session Buddy is probably by far one of my favorite extensions on Google Chrome. It saves all of your 
sessions that you currently have. So if you open up a brand new browser and you put a bunch of tabs on there and you go onto a bunch of websites, it will save that information if you click off that X symbol and it all your information is gone. It will still save that, that session and it does this automatically. So you'll be able to keep all the tabs that you've ever had open. Uh, my tab show all the way up till January 1st from now and today is uh, April 26th. So from April 26th all the way, we're almost in May. So that's four full months pretty much that it's saved every single session that I've ever, ever had and every tab that I've ever opened. So I think that's very useful. Even if I don't save the session, then it saves it for me. And when I do save the session, it still saves that as well. So I have a huge database of sessions that I've kept and I've been able to use and I can go back to whenever I want. It's been very useful for me. Uh, a lot of times when I'm at work, I'll go to a website and it's a website that had some really good information that was useful for me. And as a web developer, sometimes I'm going to multiple different websites looking for solutions for a problem I may have with code. And I lose that website because I'm, you know, carelessly clicking away at tabs. But with Session Buddy, you can be able to go to that tab uh, easily by just you know, finding it in the session buddy. And you always do have the backup of your history uh, in, the, in, in the Google Chrome browser. So that's also a good thing. But session buddy, I believe is the best productivity extension out there as far as making sure that you can save all your sessions. So, I just talked about how you can save sessions with Session Buddy, and it's very useful to be able to have something that can, you know, you can go back to whenever you need to remember something, or you want to re read something later, or uh, you want to be able to find a certain website that you don't really want to save in your bookmarks. Uh, so what I do as another backup and I also use this because it's a great tool for productivity and being able to uh, keep information little pieces and bits and pieces of information that are very useful Evernote Web Clipper now if any of you out there use Evernote you already know what I'm talking about if you don't know what Evernote is go on YouTube and type in Evernote and watch a video for Evernote Evernote is probably the most amazing free application out there for saving bookmarks, uh, notes, web clips, everything. Now, the fifth and final favorite Google Chrome web extension that I use is Adblock or Adblock Plus. This is probably the best extension that I've ever stumbled upon. And it currently is the number one most used Google Chrome extension out there with 15 million, over 15 million installations. So let me tell you what Adblock and Adblock Plus can do. Basically, when you install it, all you need to do is go to the Google Chrome Web Store, click install, it's installed automatically, works automatically. Every website that you go to will not show ads. It will block every single ad that is on any website, pop-ups, all of that. So uh, there have been a few that I've gotten through sometimes because you know some people know how to code well enough in order to get around ad blocks and add block plus. But the thing is, is that even on sites where there's heavy ads, heavy advertisement, it will block all of them and maybe only just a small tiny few will get through and that's it. 
So I recommend getting Adblock, Adblock Plus. You can go to Google, you can go to Facebook, you can go to any website that streams video or audio and it will block these ads for you. And that's, I think that's very valuable because a lot of people don't want to see ads all the time. I hear complaints about why Google advertised advertises to you and you're basically the product. But for me, Google cannot make me the product because I never see their ads. Here, I'll go to the website and I'll show you exactly what happens on Google. So we'll start this with Adblock. This is a Chrome extension that I really love. They say it's the most popular Chrome extension with over 15 million users. It blocks ads all over the web. So I'll show a demonstration of that. We'll go open up another tab and go to Google, which a lot of people complain about. A lot of people complain about Google having too many ads. They, they're using you as a product and that's why they rather not use Google and they're afraid of Google. So me as basically a person who really enjoys being on the internet and really enjoys learning new things, finding out new things, finding things on the internet. I want to use the best tools out there. And Google is one of those tools. They can find pretty much anything uh, very fast, very efficiently. All I need to do is know how to use Google search. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who would say they're much better uh, search engines than Google. I will not dispute that, but Google has been something that I've used for years and it has done very well for me. So I'll type in a search, you know, generic search like uh, bicycles. And as you'll see, I get a list of places to get bicycles, but no ads. So that's a very good thing. Um, I haven't seen any ads on Google in a very long time. So let's disable ad block. And I'm going to go and refresh this page for bicycles. And look, there are all the ads. Ads galore. Plenty of ads for you to go through. Plenty of ads down here as well. So there you have it. You see that Google can be a very useful tool without ads as well. And even sometimes I take off the, the ad blocker because I want to see ads. Advertisement doesn't bother me all that much, but uh, it does bother me when it gets in the way of my browsing experience. So you can get your browsing experience the way you want it to be. Customize it the way you want it to be by using Adblock, Adblock Plus. So thanks for watching this episode of Law TV with my top five Google Chrome extensions. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and let me know some of your feedback. Tell me what are some of your favorite Google Chrome extensions in the comments below and tell me something that I maybe maybe missed and uh, let me know some of the things that you use your Google Chrome extensions for. So thanks for watching. See you on the next episode.